गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी स्टार्ट चैप्टर वन रेशनल नंबर क्लास एट मैथमेटिक्स एज यू नो द नेम ऑफ चैप्टर इज रेशनल नंबर ओके सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द एक्सरसाइज वी टॉक अबाउट समथिंग अबाउट द डिफरेंट डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ नंबर्स लाइक दैट नेचुरल नंबर नेचुरल नंबर मीन्स द नंबर विच आर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड सो वन दिस इज कॉल्ड नेचुरल नंबर एंड डिनोटेड बाई कैपिटल एन ओके आफ्टर दैट वी मूव टू द होल नंबर होल नंबर मीन्स इफ वी इंक्लूड जीरो इन टू द नेचुरल नंबर इट बिकम्स अ होल नंबर फॉर एग्जाम्पल जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड डॉट 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 सो वन ओके इफ वी रिमूव जीरो फ्रॉम हियर दीज आर कॉल्ड द नेचुरल नंबर एंड इफ वी इंक्लूड जीरो टू द नेचुरल नंबर इट बिकम्स अ होल नंबर ओके देन आफ्टर दैट वी मूव टू द इंटीजर्स इंटीजर there may be positive integers or negative integers means all positive numbers and negative numbers are called integers for example minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 and dot 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 and here also dot 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 so towards the right side of zero all are positive numbers And towards the left side of zero, all are the negative numbers. So this statement and this, or we can say this kind of numbers are called integers. Okay, these one, two, three, four, these are called the positive integers. Positive integers. And here is negative integers. After that, now we talk about rational numbers. That is our chapter name. Rational number. Rational number. According to definitions, it is very easy, very easy to understand. The number which can be written in the form of p upon q. the number which can be written in the form of p upon q like that here p upon q where p and q are integers integers means there may be positive or negative but q does not equals to 0 it means q never be a 0 p may be 0 or may not be 0 but q never be a 0 it may be positive or negative but q always positive or negative but never be 0 so any numbers written in this form p upon q is called rational number for example 1 by 2 minus 5 by 2 3 by minus 2 etc the numbers written in this form are called rational numbers okay after that we talk about something uh forward in this chapters now let's start additive inverse additive inverse additive inverse additive inverse means this nothing it is very easy 
any number you say suppose 4 okay 4 is the number now we have to find additive inverse of 4 additive inverse means what number we should add to the given number then result should be 0 what number should be add to the given number then result should be 0 means if we add add means positive sign if we add minus 4 to this number okay now this 4 positive and negative plus sign and minus sign if we multiply these two sign together then answer will be negative so this is 0 it means minus 4 is the additive inverse of plus 4 ok it's very easy additive inverse additive inverse means any number is there just opposite the sign just change the sign that becomes the additive inverse for example minus 5 minus 5 additive inverse of minus 5 is plus 5 because plus 5 and minus 5 is 0 minus 100 means plus 100 minus 100 plus 100 becomes 0 1 by 2 what is the additive inverse of 1 by 2 simply minus 1 by 2 is the additive inverse of 1 by 2 because one is positive number and another is negative number if same number one is positive and another is negative then answer becomes 0 ok so after that we start multiplicative inverse multiplicative inverse multiplicative inverse multiplicative inverse means suppose 1 by 2 is there if we multiply if we multiply 2 by 1 then answer becomes 1 because this 2 2 will be cancelled ok and then answer becomes 1 so this 2 by 1 or we can say 2 here x and 1 upon x answer becomes 1 so this 1 by x is the multiplicative inverse of x or vice versa similarly in additive inverse here is x plus minus x so this minus x is the additive inverse of plus x or plus x is the additive inverse of minus x vice versa same here x is the multiplicative inverse of 1 by x or 1 by x is the multiplicative inverse of x means the number and its multiplicative inverse product should be 1 so you can see here for example 1 by 2 into 2 by 1 then answer becomes 1 so this 2 by 1 or 2 is the multiplicative inverse of 1 by 2 one more example 3 by 5 3 by 5 is the number and what is the multiplicative inverse of 3 by 5 so if we multiply by 5 by 3 3 3 will be cancelled and 5 will be cancelled so answer becomes 1 you can say this 5 by 3 is the multiplicative inverse of 3 by 5. In this way, we can find the multiplicative inverse and additive inverse of the numbers. It's very easy. Thank you.